Hey everybody, Amazon has a new listing for verbatim Blu-ray BDR XL drives that went live a couple weeks ago and I decided to go ahead and pick one up even though I really don't need more Blu-ray drives but the last video I made covering a nice Blu-ray drive for everybody price has skyrocketed, skyrocketed astronomically and so this new listing for these verbatim drives is very exciting because it brings the price more in line with what it used to be around the $100 mark. This one was going for $125. And this drive natively supports BDXL discs, which is friggin' awesome. The drive is actually internally a LG BU40N, so that means it is perfect for all of your preservation efforts. But it does still require you to do a little bit of footwork if you want to back up your 4K movie collection. This is the most readily available and cost-effective external option right now, so it's great to be able to use this for whatever you want. Let's dive in. So to get started on this process, just get it hooked up to your PC. So out of this box, this drive could be useful for dumping your older CD-based games, so things like 3DO, PS1, Saturn, DVD-based games, PS2, Blu-ray-based games on PS3, and in theory, PS4. And on the movie side, this drive could easily back up DVDs and Blu-rays out of the box. Unfortunately, if you are interested in backing up your 4K Ultra HD movies, this drive does not work with them right out of the gate. It's going to require you to flash it. But thankfully, since this is a BU40N, that process is actually really simple. So to unlock the 4K Ultra HD ripping capabilities of this drive, we're just going to visit the Ultimate UHD Drive Flashing Guide on Make MKV's forms. And we're just going to scroll down to the bottom here, well, near the bottom, I guess, to Unlocked Flashers, Downgrade Enabled Firmware, and MK Firmware. So the first thing we're going to grab is the All You Need Firmware Pack. And then we're going to grab the GUI SDF tool. We're going to click on that to go to this form link. And we're going to scroll down until we find the link for the current version. And we're going to download this as well. Now, if we go back to the Ultimate UHD Drive Flashing Guide form post here, you can see recommended firmware to flash for Make MKV. So for a BU40N on any firmware, just flash it over to BU40N 1.03 MK. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna go ahead and extract our firmware flashing tool. And then we're going to extract the all you need firmware pack. So if you come in here, you can see that there is a folder for LG Slim BU40N, and there is the 1.3 firmware that we need. Perfect. So we're just going to go ahead and open up the SDF Flasher tool. And it's going to look a little weird. So we can fix this by going into our Properties, Compatibility, Change High DPI Settings, Check the box that says High DPI Scaling Override and change that to System Enhanced. And now when we open up the program, we can actually see what the frick we're doing. But once you have the program open, you can actually see things. Go ahead and select your drive. Sorry, I have a bunch, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and select the BU40N. And we're going to select a firmware to write, so we're going to find that all you need firmware pack, find the BU40N folder, select that, and then hit start. And then just wait for it to do its thing. And now when you go to your drop down box, you'll see that your BU40N is now on 1.03. That's exactly what we wanted. So now if we're going to go back into make MKV, you can see that the Libre drive status has been enabled, which will allow us to finally copy over our 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray discs. So there you have it. That new verbatim Blu-ray disc drive listing on Amazon is just a very capable preservation device and one worth looking into if you are still interested in physical media and wanting to, again, preserve it. So 
I've linked this in the description below. Hopefully this one stays pretty readily available. Verbatim is one of the leaders in physical disc formats in recordable media, so I could definitely see them wanting to keep these around. And again, as of making this video, the price for this is actually pretty normal. It's not overinflated like most external Blu-ray drives at the moment. So again, here's hoping that it stays that way. So if you're interested in physical media, definitely would be worth jumping in sooner rather than later in case the prices skyrocket, just like on the other drive I've covered. But thanks for watching and let's keep physical media going.